Fontana Lounge at the Bellagio for the Five Star Poker Classic. Phil Helmuth was just eliminated from the event. Phil, tell me about how today went for you. Well, I mean, it was a you know, I mean, it was a really tough day. I uh, I picked up two kings and I trapped a guy with Ace Seven of Spades and he made a flush on the river. I trapped Kirk. Otherwise, I have three million. And I'm listening to the hands and this Walrus guy's on with nine six of hearts. How did he get involved in this hand? You know, and so I know that he's just incredibly reckless. I know, and I've heard stories. He's all in like six times with the worst hand. And so I just figure he's going to go crazy against me. So what was that last hand? But he did have me. He had me fair and square. He had aces and I had jacks and I, I didn't see it. You know, I mean, uh, I didn't see it. He had the best hand against me. you got to give him credit for that. So. Great. Well, thank you very much, Phil. I will say this. In, in, f in five days, that was the first time I was all in. Really? That was the first time you pushed all your chips in? Yeah, I was never, never close to all in in five days. It's the first time and uh, it's frustrating, you know. I mean... Uh, I played so far above the rim, but what can you do? Tell me about the elimination of Phil. Um, I have some history with Phil. Basically, every time I see him, I needle him, and uh, he doesn't really like me. And I knew that basically if I get a big hand, I'll be able to bust him because he always thinks I'm bluffing. And finally, like, he opens for 90,000, I have aces, make it 230, and try to look like sort of semi-nervous that he's you know, going to think I'm bluffing or something. And then uh, he calls, flop comes... Uh, a flop comes, actually he had jacks, not nine, sorry, he had jacks. Flop comes nine high, uh, he checks in the dark. I bet like half that pot to make it look like a steal with ace-king or something. He moves all in, I used to call with aces. And like, uh, that's pretty much it. But it's pretty bad because like I overheard him after the interview, like, you know, explaining that, you know, this f***ing Thomas Warrior's kid, like, yo, know, he was in there with nine six and like this, uh, this kid should be gone like three hours ago or something like that. But I mean, it's not true. I mean, he also told that I was like all in six times with the worst hand. Not true. I've been once in this entire five day event all in with the worst hand and I got priced in. So like, I don't really like sort of Phil's way of putting this. I mean, I mean, it's a, it's a shame to be knocked out, but bad mouthing me afterwards, like, uh, it's not so gentlemanish of him. He actually took it pretty well for Phil, though. I mean, what, <laughs> did you expect it to be worse? Um, well, I mean, like, uh, usually he goes on, like, bigger steamers. Louder. If Yeah, louder if somebody sort of sucks out on him. But here, you know, basically, he was outplayed, and he had the worst hand. So, basically, he couldn't really get too steamed up because he just, you know, played bad. It's not my fault. So how does it feel to have Phil's chips now? You happy about it? I don't really sort of mind having Phil's chips. I just want to have like some chips and I have enough to sort of make me happy. But of course, like uh, with Phil's in my history, it feels kind of good to knock him out. So do you feel it's an insult when he got up and said, good hand, son, emphasizing the son, as if you're a younger player? Did you take that to heart? No, I mean, like, Phil, Phil probably thinks I'm, like, 21, 22, I'm actually 27, but I don't mind too much about that. I mean, Phil's been around for a long time. I've only played tournaments for, like, mm, 16, 18 months, so I understand that he sort of, he thinks Scandinavian is always bluffing him, trying to outplay him and stuff like that. But, I mean, that's just his uh, sort of view on life. I don't care, but, I mean, obviously it works to my advantage if I pick up a big hand because, you know, I knew he's going to, at some point, think I'm going to try to steal a pot from him and then play back at me, so... Perfect time to have aces. Thank you very much, Thomas. Thanks. Lizzie Harrison with Thomas Wolvers for Card Player TV.